Hello in the share. How are you people? Today I would like to do a show and tell with uh, my new incense ingredients container. And allow me to do some introductions before I do that to explain to you this video. Look, most of my basic quickest spells are basically taking out my big sensor, which is big. Okay, I don't know, you have seen it in previous videos, it's a big red clay sensor, putting it out in the porch, lighting some incense to pop a leg bar, and if I want to influence someone or myself, and basically burn reagents on it that corresponds with my, uh, with my, uh, my task ahead. I could make a quick healing incense, I could make like, you know, healing incense according to the illness of the person that wants to be healed. Uh, I could make like, you know, luck, fortune, purification incense, and all sorts of ingredients. Now, the base of every good incense is a resin that allows the incense to burn longer, and something woody, like sandalwood or agarwood or other fragrant wood, but sandalwood and agarwood and cinnamon are basically, you know, the, the, the standards for many of those things. Each Orisha that I worship uh, heavily, I also have like a specific instance for, for that specific Orisha. And since a lot of my spellcraft is, allowed, is around my sensor, uh, when I decided to rearrange and my herbs, I decided that I'm going to take all the resins and the woods that are not in jars, because mind you, there are jars of uh, resin and woods that I'm not showing this video today and put them aside. I have like a five little jar of myrrh and frankincense, for instance, that are full, that are like stocked at all times. And I'm starting to take from them only when I'm like seeing that I'm running out from other sources of myrrh and frankincense. And if I start getting into the halfways, this is, it becomes very urgent that I would go and do some shopping and refill my stuff. So all the resins that I have that are not already in jars are inside this box. And I would like to show it to you, to show what's in that box and talk about, you know, their usages and incense and all sorts of other good things. Okay, so uh, I'll start. You know, now that I've opened it, it's like already smelling here like oriental spice and other good things. So I I'll get one item at a time and I will tell you what I'm using it for. Okay. This is Muir, this is high quality Muir. I'm not opening this because there is an arrangement sort of thing going on here. That this is the only Muir that I have that is not in the, it is not in the jar. And Muir is used for a lot of things. It's a very good purification and a hex breaking thing. It's a very feminine resin. So when a woman wants to like use love spells and she thinks about which resin she can use for the incense go Muir is Muir is your friend it's 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 one of those Aphrodite Oshun happiness love herbs okay this is Kebechu as you see it up close it's sorry it's Wagrat Wagrat is an Ethiopian uh, incense staple that smells somewhat minty and somewhat um not you make um, like cumin that basically uh, let me open this to you I talked about this in one of the other videos but you know I'll show this to you this batch it's a specific anti-evil eye thing that one burns during uh, during like events to protect themselves and others from the evil eye so I use that in my anti-evil eye and anti-evil eye deities worship like Mr. Babaluaye and stuff. This is a small amount of what I call black frankincense. It's basically frankincense with the tree bark that funnily enough you would think that it looks like old, old messy, old messy and like you know 
and the uh, wooden smells nice, but apparently frankincense does need its wood that it's slightly cinnamony to counteract the resin itself. And for me, this is a more, a more homey sort of frankincense. It's very homey, it's very pleasant. This is a very peaceful home sort of frankincense that I can just burn straight on the charcoal and summon about a uh, good energy. Sorry. This is a large old stock of lesser quality frankincense. Uh, I'm thinking to send it away to someone that has uh, no luck with frankincense at all as a gift. It's a big amount. It's like, I think it's like almost a kilo of frankincense. It's probably like, you know, a pound, a pound and a half or more. And frankincense, it's like, you know, it's a very sunny herb. It's a very powerful herb. It's good for all those meditation, consecration, mystical rites, uh, also purification. Most resins are used for purifications. It's also very good for healing substances. More than mirror. Here I have Opoponax, which is called Sweet Mirror. And it's also like mirror, but sweeter. So it's like, you know, you get those from Turkey, actually. And... This was actually used in the traditional Agrippa Martian incense. It's a very Martian, it's a very warring herb. But mixed with mirror that is very watery, you get together this good love incense. And it's very, it's very pleasant smelling. It's a different species of mirror. It's very pleasant smelling. So you can try that. Not many people know about this. And I challenge you people to go read about Opoponax. Popanax resin. Okay, this is the happy frankincense. It might look the same like the low quality frankincense, but as you see, the resin here is different. Okay, this is a young, smaller, more brash version of frankincense. And the happy frankincense is very antidepressant and I use it like, you know, to relieve depression, to remove negative energy. I really like it. It's also, you can get this in Ethiopian uh, incense stores. More black frankincense. Actually, I should unite those two together. Okay. A chunk of Moroccan incense that I got, you know, in Morocco, they get incense in blocks. Also, it's pu it's purifying until evil eye, and this one also scares away demons specifically, so this is like for the rare occasions when I need to banish a demon, I use that. It does have that sulfury, ecumeny tinge to it. Amber resin, and it says on the package this. Let me read to you what it says. Also, a very healing resin. It's called amber, but it's not like, you know, it's not like amber grease. It's amber because it, it gets from pine trees. It's basically pine resin. Um, it says it helps to bring peace and acceptance, but it's like a general thing. Well, anyway, um, specific pine resin is very good to heal diseases. And I'm talking about viral infections, I talk about things like that, but it, it is also a very good cursing resin when you want to bring upon diseases and call the spirits of suffering and pain, which includes Apollo, by the way. If you are an Apollo worshipper, he's also the god of disease, just for you to know, or Reshef in, in canine, or, you know, Babylonia. They love that smell. And, you can, and I use it a lot, you know, again, for healing and for other things. High quality, regular uh, frankincense. This is like the general type. Okay, this is the Keber Chew. This is an anti-cursing, anti-evil eye herb as well that the Ethiopians burn. This is my favorite one. I prefer that over Wagrat. I, I sent some of you people some of that, and it's also very inexpensive. It smells like a delicious spice when it burns. I really like it. I also, you know, a, a friend of mine and, and me, we used to go, we, and we were in the Czech Republic, and there was like a secret Santa, and I get, gave an entire, like, muslin pink bag of that to one of you people out there. 
That was a lot of fun. Okay. This is cedar tree. Cedar is a very appeasing herb that is, can be used for money spells and other spiritual uh, things. And also, it's a sort of herb. Here I'm moving like shit that doesn't need to be there. It's a sort of herb that you give to spirits that you have anger to soothe them, to make them like, you know, happy. It's an apologetic herb. So this can also be used for reconciliation spells and love spells. If somebody knows that he did something fucked up and he needs to apologize for it, you can just put that on. Also, it has a very pleasant smell. Get more opoponax. I'm showing you everything. I'm not putting anything. And this is, actually I need to put this in a different bag. This is a benzoin resin chunk. You see, it's a brick of benzoin, okay? And in Israel you can get those in all sorts of colors. Green, the normal white, and different colors. This is the benzoin um, Sumatra, meaning the, or it, the basic one. This is not the flaming orange special uh, Siam benzoin. Okay, and benzoin is a daily day, very bureaucratic resin. You use it like to push your your lawsuit forward, uh, trials. Uh, if you need to deal with uh, obnoxious people, this is a very daily day incense that smells like somewhat like vanilla and herbs, and it's very pleasant. Even though I have met one woman that doesn't like it at all. So it's also, you know, considerably cheaper than Muron Frankincense. Again, you can buy it in bricks because this is basically a brick. It's a brick. So, and break it into little pieces and it grinds out very well. It's also very good for money spells because it has that Jupi Jupiteranian energy in it. Okay. I have Bedellium Resin. And let me read you, does it, anyway, Bedellium, which as you see I got from the Himalaya, let me show you how it looks like. This is how it looks like, this is a chunk, you see that beautiful amber thing? It has this minty smell and it's very abrasive when it burns it's not a pleasant thing that you burn and this is a magical killer if you know a place that was hexed or the person you need to remove a hex from or a spell that got so messed up you cannot control get some of this put it on a charcoal send it to the direction of the thing that needs to be broken and it will be broken because it's a very very violent powerful ingredient and after you use it, you can't use magic for a while because it will simply dampen. The, the herb needs to go out of your system before you use that. So if, for instance, you know, you're going to meet a witch that is not in fully control of her power, but you need to meet that person, he or she, and you need to prepare a room, this is a good, good resin for it. And it's like one of those witch hunter tools that witches learned to use probably at some point in history. It's sacred to Risha Oko as, as a witch hunter, and it's very it's a very powerful ingredient. Okay. This and those which i will unite is pure white sa indian sandalwood powder that is a delightful ingredient i don't know if you ever got to use white sandalwood powder but it's a delightful delightful ingredient i love it very much and it's a general enhancer it's a pusher it's a purifier it's a very good aid in meditation or with astral projection because it keeps you awake while sleeping. It's a good pleasant cleanser also, something that I wouldn't miss on using in like, you know, a peaceful home ingredients. And you know, uh, it's also an ingredient in Crown of Success stuff, 
So, you know, I just take a pinch of that and I mix with the Eshu incense and burn it and I have a lucky day. I use it a lot, as you could have guessed. This is more amber resin. Look at how beautiful this is. It's like a gem, isn't it? It's amber resin. It's again, it's a pine resin that I got in Jerusalem many, many years ago. Again, I talked about this in this video, so. Those are sandalwood uh, chips that I've gotten and paid a lot of money for. For some weird reason, getting the Indian sandalwood chipped and not powdered is very expensive. I would like it if some of you know would know and could tell me why. Hopefully, the answer is not because, you know, powdered sandalwood is somewhat fake. And the chip cannot be easily faked. I don't know why. Just tell me if you can. Okay. I have... Uh, okay, this is blue copal. This is blue copal. Blue copal is a very Yemaya ingredient. Very soothing. It's a good incense for, for women. That goes and... Um, goes and give birth. You know, it's a birthing incense. It's also a birthing incense for some voodoo dolls and fetishes and good stuff like that. Very good, very good for healing, like if somebody is injured, not specifically disease healing. Okay, I have more, more blue papal. A nice chunk of asafotedia resin. I'm not going to open this up for you because it smells. This is used to kill love, to kill love spells, to remove unwanted objects from your path and general hexing. It's called Devil's Dung as well. Okay, this is Golden Kupal. And, you know, there is White Kupal and Golden Kupal, and I got Golden Kupal because I'm a child of Oshun, and as a child of Oshun that does the priestly work, I need to be able to, it's easier for me to summon the power of Kopal, which is again very purifying. It's like people swear by it, like as an anti-negativity -negat anti incense. It's very medicinal, it has the smell of a burning medicine, it's very difficult to describe, very resiny, very tangy. Well, it's resin, of course, it smells very resiny. And I don't use it a lot, but when I do, it's like, you know, it's an emergency, but this is like a pound, so, you know. Let me get you a chunk of it so you can see. It's also very beautiful. Those are little gems. Anyway, if you see some of the documentaries on um, on witchcraft in, in like, you know, in Texas and Sonora, you see that the witch hunters and, you know, the people that remove uh, that removes hexes use those quite a lot. Another bag of happy frankincense. I should probably unite those two once I find it. Here, I found it. Dragon blood resin. As you see, I have a lot of dragon blood resin. It's like a big, a fist and a half chunk of the dragon's blood. And I'm aware the dragon's blood is very popular. Especially, you know, for fiery wall of protection and things like that. But the thing is this. It's very rare and becomes more difficult to come by because it grows like in only like several places around the earth. And it's not necessarily the easiest thing to get a hold of. But the power of dr dragon's blood resin is not because it's red. The power of dragon's blood as a protective ingredient is because it's very highly uh, antiseptic you use that as a as a wound ointment you put that on this on, on infections and it's very very powerful in its oil or ointment form and you know many of those resins many of those resin like frankincense and mirror are antiseptic and burning them for the gods was like an act of decadence like ha i'm burning this life saving medicines to the deities and that was how it was perceived in ancient times. This is why it was so expensive and so difficult. And this is why when you go to, you know, to Timna and you read what uh, uh, Ramses III gave to the goddess there, it was like, you know, a herd of sheep, a herd of cows, ta 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 ta, -ta and two uh, bunches of frankincense and urine. You ask yourself, well, two bunches of frankincense and urine is very little. So no, 
It was highly expensive. It was weighted in gold, okay? Because this was there before antibiotics was, you know, natural antibiotics was there before any other antibiotics was there and people's lives were saved by this. Your ancestors' life were saved because some Euro frankincense or dragon's blood were out there to be placed on their wounds. So, you know, they, they uh, this is why they are so important in, in witchcraft and religious holidays and practices. Think about it. I got a little bit of um, brimstone, which is, you know, sulfur. And again, very good for banishing the evil things you don't want. More pine resin. Oh, this is not pine resin. This is acacia that is very good for love spells and like, you know, Restoring men's nature after it has been removed. It's a very good man love drawing incense When you want to this is pine resin when you want to a, a man wants to call a woman into his life This is almond resin That is also a very powerful purifier More blue copal. I have plenty of the blue copal A this is Omanian frankincense that is allegedly the best. It is very high quality. Um, red. This is red sandalwood. And people ask me, what's the difference between the red and the white sandalwood? Well, the red sandalwood is protective. It's very protective. It gives you psychic protection. You know, this is something that can be burned while you're doing divination and opening yourself up to other people that are sitting in your room that you don't specifically trust, but you don't want to fuck up their magical energy by bur burning um, bdellium. So bdellium is also called gogul in uh, in Tibetan. So I have a few of that. I don't have enough, but I ordered some from Tibet. By the way, those are cheaper to get in chips. This is some um, of the green version of a um, benzoin that I got that I use for money spell. And the last thing, look, the, the thing is closed. This is some Balth uh, what? Balthazar incense, which is basically three kings that I picked up in the Czech Republic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I would very much like to hear what you thought about this and if there is information here that was new to you and if you would like me to speak about other ingredients or elaborate about one of those resins. And please uh, like and subscribe. Have a nice day.